Alright, hey y'all guys. So I just want don't worry about the next cause it's your boy Chris with the next. Alright, so I just wanted to talk about the whole situation where that white woman wanted to get a white doctor for her white child. Um you know, first of all, I'm been back I'm back, I've been gone for a minute. Um, uh, now I'm back, so I just wanted to talk about that because I had a conversation with somebody said, you know, I was telling somebody, you know, racism doesn't make any sense. You know, if you're, you know, you can be racist all you want. But let's say if you have a car accident and that race that you hate just might have, that person of color might just be up there, may just be able, able to help you. What are you going to tell that person? Hey, you know, can you go give me uh, somebody white to help me? No, that person's life is in your hands. They could choose to make, they could choose to save you, or they can choose to walk away and let you uh, die. And this is an exact example of what I was talking about. And these Trump supporters got people now, you know, just being boldly racist. And this woman, this child just wanted some help. Now, I can understand if she couldn't understand what they were saying. The people, the, those, um, I believe they were Indian doctors or Amerindian or something. But she was just way out of line. She was causing a big scene. Even the one of the nurses had to come up and tell her, you know, your child's more embarrassed by you. You know, your child just needs some help. Then she started calling people brown teeth. And then she called the, um, the black people niggers and stuff. You know, just being, just being buck ass ignorant. You know, which is a, a low down dirty shame. You know, that child was sick, wanted some help, did not care for the color of the doctor, or whatever. They just, the child just wanted a doctor. But the white woman just wanted to be ignorant. And then she started talking about everyone who was teaming up on her.